yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> uh, I went to register it and uh, they said, no, you can't register it. All right, new shoes for the brute. <laughs> yeah, it's the gift that keeps on taking. Right, the brute rims are on their way to get uh, reshoed. Oh, I can't do them here. I probably could, but I'd be fighting with them. Might as well get them done with the machine. So, next time you see it, I'll be mounting new shoes. All right, the new shoes are mounted. Just got to put them on the machine now. So once I get these on there, we've kind of figured out what could be the problem with the backfire. Took it out the other day and it was nice and dry and sunny and it never backfired once. So we're thinking it's the crack spark plugs, the uh, spark plug caps are cracked. So that's probably the issue since it ran fine when it was dry. When I ran it, it was wet out. That would cause it to not spark in a cylinder and the gas would go through into the pipe and detonate. So hopefully that's the problem. That's a simple fix. And then it should be ready to go. New shoes, new motor, new everything. Even got it registered today and that was a funny story too. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> oh, I went to register it and uh, they said, no, you can't register it. It's it's not registered in the name of the person you bought it from. So I'm like, really? I says, can't you just look it up? And no, they couldn't find it. So <laughs> I had to pay for a search. I got a name, no address, no anything. So I looked it up on Google, couldn't find anything on them. I went to... I phoned, I found a phone number for the person I bought it from. I phoned them. She couldn't, she couldn't uh, remember anything. She said, oh, I don't, I don't have the, the registration or nothing. Um, she said, I bought it from a Peter, somebody who bought it from another guy many years ago who used to live maybe on this road. And I thought, oh, here we go. Never going to register it. And then, uh, so, I punched in the road with the name that the uh, MTO had given me because I had to do a search for it, but they didn't give me an address or anything. And, yeah, it came up as somebody, and there was a phone number, and 
I phoned and the phone was disconnected and I thought, oh, let me go on across Canada chasing this guy, probably moved. So I got my truck and I went to the address and lo and behold, thank goodness, he was still alive and he was still living there. So got her all done now. That was quite the, uh, yeah, don't buy anything from anybody if you don't have a uh, registration. It's, it's just a pain. But uh, it's done, so we'll get this thing back together now. And then I really hope that's it for working on it. Well, I'm sure there'll be lots more working on this thing, but I'm hoping we can ride it now and not have to worry so much about it. But we uh, won't have to worry about the tires anyways. So that's good. Mud Light 2s. Supposed to be a good tire, so... We'll see how they are. They look good. Wanted to get some cryptids, but uh, they're so damn expensive. They're 300 and something dollars each. So this machine doesn't deserve something that expensive. <laughs> All right, there we go. Brand new shoes on the Brute Force. They look pretty good on there. They're 27s, the backs are 27, 11, 12, and the fronts are 27, 9, 12. They look pretty good. Right on. Thanks for watching, everyone.